Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the different layers of the integumentary system. There are two distinct layers of the integumentary system, which include the epidermis and the dermis. The hypodermis is actually not a part of the skin, but that is a part below the dermis that is predominantly adipose or fat tissue. Considering the epidermis, there are four main cell types that are found in the epidermis. The predominant cell type of the epidermis are called keratinocytes. The suffix site means cell, so these are cells that make keratin, these are cells that make melanin, and then Merkel cells and Langerhans cells are specialized nerve cells and leukocytes that help with sensory reception and protection of our skin. Keratinocytes, the root of kera means horn, you might think of a rhinoceros at the zoo, okay, or a triceratops, which has three horns. These cells, their main job is to produce a tough fibrous protein that is keratin. Keratin is often found in the horns of the rhinoceros, might be found in the hooves of horses. In our bodies, it's predominantly found in our fingernails and in our hair. All these cells in this picture that are yellow are keratinocytes. If you notice, compared to the other cells, keratinocytes make up the largest percent of the epidermis. These cells are constantly growing at the basal layer, pushing up cells to the higher levels, which then get flaked off uh, from the top layer. We lose approximately eight pounds of skin cells every year. Proteins do almost everything. Proteins, like this keratin protein, is insoluble in water and gives skin a lot of its waterproofing characteristics. If you notice, in the case of uh, movies or TV shows, sometimes dead bodies, okay, you might see the bone remains and also you might see some hair remains. It takes a lot to decompose hair and there's not very much nutrient value to hair and it's insoluble in water so it doesn't decompose readily from bacteria and it can persist for long periods of time. Keep in mind proteins include carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen as some of their key elements that make up that molecule. A second cell type found in the epidermis are melanocytes. These cells produce a pigment called melanin. The idea of this pigment is to act as an umbrella to shade the dividing basal cells that are rapidly growing. They shade these cells from the harmful rays of UV radiation. Like invisible bullets, radiation can actually change or alter the genetic code and then cells can become mutated or non-functioning properly and become cancer cells. Here you can clearly see the orangish brown pigment shading the basal cells of the epidermis. Make sure you wear your sunscreen. A third cell type are specialized leukocytes. Leuco means white, site means cell. So these are white blood cells that actually tag foreign material as it enters into our body. <clears throat> Merkel cells are special receptors found along the basal layer of the epidermis that help us in detecting different types of sensations. So the four main types of cells of the epidermis are keratinocytes, melanocytes, Langerhans cells, and Merkel cells.